I'm going to Walmart. That's the Walmart way. Okay, Yard Finax, look, sad day for me at Walmart in what we at? Ellenwood Anvil Block location. Guys, I'm constantly shopping at Walmart. And let me show you what happened to me today. Okay, guys, I bought this TV right here. The uh, TL, was it TCL? The TCL brand at Walmart. Um, and it was like, I think 200, I got the receipt right here. 200 and something odd dollars. Right there, 200 and something odd dollars. All right, when we got home and we plugged this TV up, physically the TV looked good, but the screen, the digitizer was shattered. So we brought it back to Walmart. Now, I didn't go back to the store that I bought it from, which was the uh, Hudson Bridge store, the store number 3402, because they don't have it in stock. So we checked it out. Store number 3609, I think that is. Guys, I know this is 3609 had it in stock via the app. So we came out here and tried to just exchange it to get another one. And this is what I was told. I was told that because the TV is damaged, you got to take it back to the store that you purchased it from. And I understand that in a sense. But Visually, the TV is not damaged. When we plugged it up, we saw that it didn't work. Now, I could have lied and just said that, hey, it didn't work and exchanged it out. Here's my issue with that. If some, somebody's mom or somebody had bought their granddaughter a TV and they stayed in the state of Texas and they drove it all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, gave it to them for a Christmas present, and then come to find out that it was damaged from shipment, not physically, you can't see it. All right, and I know somebody gonna say that you should have inspected the TV before you buy it. Nobody did that. They they was all on the floor. You just bought it and went and checked it out. It's a little two hundred dollar TV, guys. So here I am trying to exchange it. I can't exchange it. I had to end up buying another one. So I end up buying this one right here, which they let me visually check it out. And and if I go through the same thing, um, well I plug it up and this the digitizer is broken. Here we go again. So now I'm having to, to buy this. I got to drive back across town and take that one back and get a refund. Hopefully they'll give me my refund back and won't give me a problem. The issue I'm having with this guy, okay, that return policy is dumb. And I, I'm constantly shopping at Walmart. That's all I do, literally. I shop at Walmart. I, I buy through the app. I mean, I recommend it to everybody. And here we go with this now from what i'm understanding it's probably just a store manager who didn't want to do it i even called the 1-800 number that you see down here spoke to a lady named billy and she basically said oh we can't override the store so what's the purpose of calling that 1-800 number i have the slightest idea highly upset highly disappointed will it stop me from shopping at walmart probably not but guys i just want you to know if you're buying these tvs from walmart um, and you have issues, they're going to give you a hard time for us to bring it back. This is one of the main reasons why people are shopping at Amazon and these other stores. Um, TVs are dime a dozen. A $200 TV couldn't cost no more than uh, pennies on the dollars to manufacture. And as far as customer satisfaction, totally, totally dissatisfied. Okay, so now we're gonna try to squeeze this, these TV. Barely could get it, the, the TV in here. Uh, my daughter got a little car for Christmas. We gotta try to figure out how to get both of these TVs in here. And I'm gonna go out to the Hudson Bridge store and see what kind of harassment I get from them. So check it okay, out. And here, here's the inconvenience. Too small to get it back here. All right, I got this one in here kind of this way. I'm probably still gonna be able to squeeze the other one in here, but it's a smaller car. So I can't even get and then my daughters, they were trying to crack jokes. Oh, it'll fit. Oh, it'll fit. Yeah. And this, Only if it, this. Uh, it, it won't fit. I ain't trying to break this. It won't fit. And one daughter, she got to sit right here. So you see what kind of inconvenience you're causing me Walmart. Love Walmart. You know, the savings place. I love that place. But I, I've never went through this type of... of Oh, okay. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. 
you know, I'm being inconvenienced. I am being inconvenienced. And the experience today is horrible at Walmart. Yeah, I called the store number out, 3609. You guys suck. You guys suck. You'll still see me <laughs> shopping here next week. But listen, I can't return the TV. I spent, I've spent thousands of dollars at Walmart. Thousands of dollars. I mean, it's my favorite store. And as far as don't buy your TV from Walmart, period. I'm, just telling you, buy from Amazon, buy from Best Buy, uh, buy from one of these other stores because this return policy is some bull crap. We still trying to figure this out. Okay, you guys, now we headed out to the uh, to the Hudson Bridge store. That's in, uh, it's still in Stockbridge, but it's in another store. And I hope I don't get disappointed. All right, say so slow this car. I mean, go ahead. I mean. <laughs> in the car with my daughter she got her car for christmas and we're trying to get to this uh store kind of her first time on this first one oh my god everybody fucking pops all right you're doing good though how fast you going and see this one thing about georgia man i mean the atl good god man, everybody here drives super fast all right, so we headed out to the uh, Hudson Bridge store, and um, I'll talk to you when we get there. Okay, and this, this is the inconvenience that I'm talking about. Now I'm headed out here to the Hudson Bridge store, and we're going 75 South, and it's always, and I'm not going to say always, but 80% of the time, it's like this, just stay in this lane right here. So now I got to fight through this. All we had to do was exchange it, and, and, and I could have been on my merry way, but... You know, at that point, I stopped spending money with Walmart that day. We was going to buy some other stuff, but I'm, I'm retaliating today. I'm going to go to Target and buy the rest of my stuff, but I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm at store. What's this? Uh, 3402 now. Uh, Hudson Bridge location, Stockbridge, Georgia. Uh, hopefully, I won't get to feelings crushed all right headed into this store we'll, we'll see how it turns out so okay guys i took it back and they um just refunded it back to my car because that's what i used to purchase it but the issue is on the process process is broken because like i stated before if i stayed in another state and i bought that for a present for somebody who stayed in another state and it was damaged took it back how are they going to get their money back? How are they going to exchange it? Now, the discretion is up to the store uh, manager. And guys, I don't think I tell you, they pick and choose who they want to return stuff to. All right. So hopefully you guys, you know, you'll start shopping somewhere else for your TVs. I still buy groceries and stuff like that. Love Walmart. But this, this experience right here, totally unsatisfied. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. It's Mark Bowman. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to Walmart. That's the Walmart way.